What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the LifeProof Free Case for the iPhone 5. Now I first want to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit bad. I've been sick the last couple days, uh, but I could just not let another day pass by without reviewing this case uh, because it is so awesome. But anyways, this is the LifeProof free case for the iPhone 5. If you guys remember LifeProof, I reviewed their iPhone 4S case in the white color back in 2011. If you remember, that was a very popular video. And then in summer of last year, 2012, I also reviewed uh, the life jacket for the iPhone 4S on the 4 that goes on the LifeProof case. Both uh, very cool uh, additions to add to your iPhone. And now the LifeProof uh, free case for the iPhone 5, pretty much anything LifeProof, um, they are cases designed for your everyday life. They are waterproof, dirtproof, snowproof, and shockproof. Um, I've used them very much and uh, my stuff from them has always come out positive. I like the cases very much and the fact that you could just go in the pool or the shower uh, with this case is just a very, very cool feature. Um, so uh, compared to the previous uh, generation of the LifeProof case, uh, it is a little bit different and I'll go over that too. Uh, so let's get this thing started. So first we're going to unbox it and then we'll do the water test and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and have a look at the packaging. As you can see, uh, free case, life proof, iPhone 5, snow proof, dirt proof, or sorry, waterproof, dirt proof, snow proof, shock proof. We lift this right here. You can see there's the uh, case itself with a fake little insert of an iPhone. Here there's some facts about the case. Uh, and on the bottom, this will be your best day yet. And as you can see, the packaging is a lot cooler looking uh, than the previous version, I think, in my opinion. Uh, if you if you look at them side to side, uh, this has got some little inside prints on them uh, of what you're going to be using for your everyday life. And LifeProof makes cases for uh, the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPod Touch 4G, and the iPad 2 through 4. Um, and on the back of the packaging, you see we just have some more information on all the proofs. So let's go ahead and open this case. I'm going to get the Mike's iOS Help uh, unboxing knife out. Of course, not very professional. Of course, hand drawn by me. So I'm just going to cut the little seal here. All right, so here we go. We're inside the packaging. And this is just going to be like the uh, previous version. As you can see, we already have our uh, headphone jack extender, and which is going to slide out. So we're done with that part of the packaging. And there's the case itself. Let's go ahead and take it out. As you can see, it's opened up. Uh, on the bottom here we have some a little uh, piece of yellow paper, some information, uh, support, accessorize, and stuff like that. We don't really need that. Um, and so here's the case itself. Uh, so here's the top part that will go over the top of the phone, and then of course the screen itself as well. Right here uh, is the fake iPhone insert, we don't need that. Um, right here we got a microfiber cleaning cloth. And then also we have some um, installation instructions uh, in here too. So it'll tell me a little bit about some of that stuff, so we'll get to that as well. And then here's the back of the case, the back piece that goes on. Of course, we have our caution sticker, uh, and then we have the little plastic uh, covering the window, in which you can see the Apple logo through, which uh, was one of the main things that I was really uh, going to like about these cases. Uh, so let's actually have a deeper look into it. On the top, you'll see we have a cutout for the front camera and then also the speaker and all the permixity sensors and stuff like that. Uh, of course, LifeProof has designed these speakers specially so that you could still hear uh, and the camera could see, however, no water gets through. Uh, and then, of course, we have our screen here too, so obviously no water gets in, as you can see. Um, and if you remember in previous versions uh, with the iPhone 4 and 4S one, uh, that screen was a little bit bubbled and uh, it would always come up so the feedback when touching it wouldn't be fantastic. Uh, but I have heard with this version uh, that they fixed it. On the bottom here we have the little home button. And then on the side we have our uh, re-inverted mute switch, which you know if you put it up, it mutes your phone. You put it down, it unmutes your phone. It's kind of inverted. Uh, the volume buttons. And then on the bottom we have our lightning port. Uh, right here we have our little opening for the speaker and then a, a very tiny opening for the microphone and of course the unscrewable headphone jack on the bottom as well. I'll just leave that screwed in for now. On the top we have our power button, uh, nothing on the side obviously, and then that's pretty much it. And then the, the back part of course has the uh, lightning connector door. There's a little dip here for the, uh, the headphone jack as well. There's a little window for the Apple logo and then uh, of course we have a opening for the camera lens. Uh, there's a little dot for the microphone and the flash as well. So I'll actually go ahead and peel this uh, caution sticker off and you should see my finger right through the window right there and that's what we'll see the Apple logo through. And then right here you can see the life proof and it gives us the four proofs. 
And since this is the first time me opening the case, LifeProof recommends that you first put it in a bowl of water or something without the phone in it to actually test to make sure the phone is waterproof. Uh, and you should do that for a little bit of time. So I'm going to do that. And then if it passes, obviously, I'm going to put my phone in and we're going to try out some water tests. All right, guys. So about after an hour, uh, the case actually did pass the water test. What I did uh, is... I did what it told me to do in the instructions, and that's pretty much fill up like a bowl or container of water, uh, and then place the case in face down, uh, and put a cup on top of it uh, that'll weigh it down and leave it in there for 60 minutes. If no water leaks in, then your case is pretty much set and waterproof. The good news here is that uh, there was no water leak in, uh, just like LifeProof has always had with me, uh, so that's a very good thing. So uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and put this case on my iPhone 5. So here's the uh, top piece. So we're going to go ahead and drop it in just like this. And we're going to match up the little uh, headphone jack uh, piece just so that it clicks in. And then I'll also wipe down the inside of the case to get any dust out of there uh, so that we have a nice clean look. So let's go ahead and put my phone in right now. All right, there we go. So that's how the phone looks inside of the case. You can see we have a little uh, rainbow effect right there. In order to get rid of that, uh, the best thing to do, I think, is to actually, as weird as it may sound, actually suck on the uh, speaker ports up here with your mouth, and that actually sucks in the air out so you won't get that rainbow effect. And then we're going to go ahead and also get this back piece right here, and we're going to start with the top, and we're just going to click it down uh, from the bottom. And if you actually want to, before you do this, uh, go ahead and wipe down the back of your phone around the Apple logo uh, and the camera lens so that you get clean pictures and you see the Apple logo clean through. So we'll go ahead and go and drop this on. And you can see that uh, we're going to want to reassure that this clicks all around uh, in every corner, every, I guess, every aspect of it, that it all clicks together. So we're just going to go ahead and examine the case and make sure that there's no seams or uh, seep ins where water could possibly get in. This was a little bit open, uh, but it, it is, as a matter of fact, closed. As you can see, if I try and move, move my thumb in there, it won't open at all. Uh, so you see this the speaker is all good and make sure that the headphone jack is nice and tightened And then of course uh, we you can see that we have our lightning port down there And we're going to want to make sure that that's all closed up too again Make sure that the case is all closed up and we're ready to do some tests uh, But here's how it looks on the front you can see with my screen on uh, So we have our access to the front camera at the top and then uh, pretty much everything from here If I double tap you can see I still have my music player so I have full access to the home button uh, here we have access to our volume buttons. Like I said, this is inverted, the mute switch. So if you push down, it unmutes. If you push up, it mutes. Uh, we have our volume buttons. And then on the back, camera lens, microphone flash, a window for the Apple logo, which is the coolest thing ever. That's what I love about this case. Uh, power button on the top, fully functional. And it's actually a lot easier to press, in my opinion, uh, than the previous one. And immediately I noticed, guys, if you remember, the 4S1 had uh, really crappy feedback. This one doesn't have any feedback at all. This is really pushed down and pressurized, so you're not going to get that feedback. Uh, it's very responsive, so you won't have to worry. Obviously, you're going to feel it, but uh, it's not as bad. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and do some water tests. All right, guys, now it is time to do the water test. Uh, as just as I was with my iPhone 4S, I'm very scared right now. Obviously, I trust LifeProof, but hey, you never know. And also, you don't always feel fantastic about putting your phone in water. Um, so I'm just going to get a non-copyright infringement song playing here uh, so I don't get in trouble like I did in the last video and we're, so that you have proof that this is running and we're going to let this thing go. So here we go. We got some music playing. Phone is fully functional. Alright, I'm going to go ahead. I'll leave my screen on for you guys. Very scared right now. Again, before we finish, we're going to make sure everything is closed on the phone. All ports, openings, anything pretty much. Make sure that that's locked. Headphone jack is on. All right, guys. This determines everything. Here we go. Full bowl of water. All right. The phone is in the water. I'll go ahead and pick up my camera. As you can see, it's in there. Obviously, it's hard to tell since the water is clear, but you can see it's in there. I have some little drops in here. Uh, obviously, if I put my hand in, screen isn't functional. Uh, and that's because, well, it thinks that the water's one giant fingerprint, but as you can see, the phone is running. That's a very good thing. It's just sitting on the home screen right now, and the music is playing. So, there you go, LifeProof. It's working. You can see, if you do see bubbles from the speakers and stuff like that, that's 100% normal. It's just an airflow, uh, but there is, it, it's fully, uh, I guess you could say, guarded off. There's no water getting in. It happens with 
uh, all of their cases. So uh, now we're completely done. Let's go ahead and take it out of the water. I'm gonna just try and get as much water off as possible. I don't have a towel right now. Okay, I'm gonna set it down. Wipe this water on my pants. And uh, let's have a look at the phone itself. As you can see, it's on, functional as usual. Go ahead and lock it. See, it works just fine. Nice job, life proof. Looking good. So there you guys go, uh, I just dried up my phone, as you can see it is fully functional, there's nothing wrong with it, uh, I haven't even taken the case off yet, but I probably will just to make sure uh, that no water got in at all and just dried up completely, uh, but good job LifeProof, you met the standards, my phone is safe. And yeah, there you go. Now, usually with life proof cases, I like to do just a little bit of a drop test before I actually end my review. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So we'll go from about my head level and we'll just drop. We'll go ahead and give that another go. We'll do screen down again from about this high. Okay. Obviously this is on carpet, so it's not gonna be that rugged. I just don't wanna damage the case uh, by throwing it on concrete. And then we'll do like a corner drop, which is pretty common. You can see it kind of bounced there. And it's holding up pretty well. You see that we don't have too much separation. Of course, if you're dropping it on concrete, I'm sure you'll see some separation. Uh, so you definitely want to be careful with that. Uh, and always make sure that you fasten everything uh, to make sure that everything's okay. So there you guys go. That is my review of the LifeProof free case for the iPhone 5. If you want to go check this out, it's $79.99 on LifeProof.com. Definitely worth the price since it's waterproof, shockproof, dirtproof, snowproof. Pretty much anything, and uh, stay tuned in the summer. I'll probably be doing a lot of war tests with this thing. Uh, I didn't get to do that with my forest video uh, too much, so stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, definitely go check out their product. Really awesome, guys. Thank you, LifeProof, for sending this case out uh, for review purposes. Hopefully, I have some more videos coming on soon. Uh, if you like this video, guys, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.